This is a mint in the box Packard Bell CC9000 color tube television and we're not sure if it's a console or a built-in or a consolette. It says all channel so it's got to be older than 69 or so. So you want to open it up, Chris, and let's, uh... I did open it just to make sure that it was what it said. And it appears to have a metal case. This interest, this lip around the front is very custom. What, what is this? It's a Packer Bell custom on the front, above the tuner. It's a metal case. Looks like a 23 inch. It's going to be interesting how we're going to lift it out of here, but let's uh, let's give it a shot. I'll pause the camera. So it looks like this is a built-in. Still got the rubber band to hold the door closed. What? If this equipment is to be wall mounted rather than cabinet installed, Packard Bell rough in box must be part of the installation. Omission of or substitution for the specific rough in box will be a result of a hazardous installation. So we have BNC video input and output, speaker in and out. Simulated stereo, hi-fi, hi mono, normal, VTR playback. What is this thing? Look at that, it's even got a... Low loss. Viti videotape subassembly VTS one. Only the IF is uh, solid state. This is like a 69, 68, 69.
brand new. See how much wax is leaked out of this flyback? Wow, look at that, not a drop. It's got the uh, silicone tire around it. Now it's got the old rubber tire. thing is on a sheet of plywood. One hundred percent virgin. Let's open this up and see what's in there. It's waking up. You see how much different it looks? Even the convergence. That's convergence. Well, that's, yeah, that's Halo. That's the PVA material. She says, look, the diapers, uh, diaper genie turns your used diapers into a sausage. some low power UHF. These knobs are completely frozen solid. <laughs> that one, that one's good right there. 
Okay, so we're going to try this composite input here, and we're, what is this thing, in a, a new Atari? Flashback 3. Flashback 3 Atari. And we're going into the composite input on a tube television, so go ahead and... Wow, it needs a focus adjusted, and it needs the... Look at that, look at the blooming. The CRT just overdrives the high voltage with the high voltage. Like it needs a complete setup. Back it off. It needs a complete setup. Yeah, convergence, you can see convergence. Well. It needs everything. Look at the yoke is even tilted. So this has been sitting for uh, 45 years. 45 years that we just we just uh, pulled it out and just turned it on. So try those different stereo. Okay, so we have speaker inside and out. I wonder what this video output. I wonder if that's a composite video out out of the yeah. out of the detector. It's designed to be used with a VTR, so video out for the recorder. Well, yeah, you can see the blue. Yeah, it needs a complete setup. It's Although, you know what? The convergence, look at how much better it looks now than what it did. Hold on. We, we discovered this set has a feature that I've never seen on a tube set, which would be forced cigarette injection. It has a muffin fan in it, sucking through these vents in the front, and that's why when this closes, there's a gap behind it because it's actually force air cooled. Let's see if you can hear it. Turn it off. Actually has a muffin fan in it. So what do we think this is? This is a for a TV station, professional studio, mm, or just for high-end home installation with an external videotape recorder. And if this is the late '60s, there was a one-inch Type A you could buy from Ampex for I want to say twenty or thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, but what I I still don't would, would work with it. Would home would a home installation have B and C that? That, I thought that was more of a commercial. Yeah, I see this as high-end residential, like very high-end. You can feel it blowing the heat out. Picture fidelity, brightness range. Hi-Fi output. I wonder if that's a left and right or if those are in parallel. Yes, it has simulated stereo sound on the, on the switch. The front here, you can 
take the mono TV audio and output fake stereo to your stereo system.